UP is an agriculture state and uh, the production of food grains and the land is very fertile. So there is a lot of agriculture residue which is generated, more than around 95 million metric tons per annum. So we came up with a 2022 policy with uh, keeping in mind what are the problems which developers have faced earlier. We hope that in the coming times uh, we have a target of establishing one uh, bioenergy project in each tehsil. So we uh, hope to achieve that. Uh, government has planned to increase the farmer's income and this is in line with that because agriculture residue will also have a value and which the CBG players will uh, purchase and it will ha help in the production of uh, compressed biogas. Uttar Pradesh is leading the way in bioenergy with 32 innovative projects currently in place. This includes 24 CBG projects, with a capacity of 210 TPD, representing a significant investment of 1600 crores. Additionally, the state has three biocoal projects with a combined capacity of 110 TPD, valued at 12 crores, and five biodiesel projects producing 278 KLPD, worth 52 crores. Notably, Uttar Pradesh boasts the highest number of CBG projects in India, with 210 TPD installations setting a national benchmark. Asia's largest CBG project located in Mathura. शहर के कचरे और पशुधन से गोबरधन, फिर गोबरधन से स्वच्छ इंजन, फिर स्वच्छ इंधन से ऊर्जाधन, ये श्रृंखला जीवन धन का निर्माण करती है. To support this growth, UP NEDA has allocated 387 acres of land to major oil marketing companies like IOCL, HPCL, Petronet, Gale, and Reliance for 20 bioenergy projects. The state is also at the forefront of CBG development, with 93 plants under construction, collectively handling around 500 TPD and involving an investment of approximately 5,000 crores. Uttar Pradesh benefits from a diverse range of feedstock resources, including 144 million metric tons per annum of agricultural waste, 31 million metric tons of municipal solid waste, 4 million metric tons of press mud, and 239 million metric tons of animal waste. UP NEDA has launched a dedicated portal to streamline bioenergy projects and another to track feedstock availability, with over 20 lakh farmers already registered. Among the exciting developments are CBG projects using napier grass as feedstock. To further encourage bioenergy initiatives, UP NEDA offers additional incentives beyond the Government of India subsidies. CBG projects receive 75 lakh per tonne, biocoal projects benefit from 75,000 per tonne, and biodiesel projects are supported with 3 lakh per kilo litre. Additional incentives are provided to aggregators for procuring farm equipment. In a push for excellence, UP NEDA has enlisted IIT Delhi and IIT Kanpur as technical partners to enhance the success of bioenergy projects across the state. When we have planted CBG in Duryapar, we have to make the seeds of this seed, which is the seed of the seed, and we have to supply it there. And we have to increase our income. In Uttar Pradesh, bioenergy projects are transforming agriculture and boosting farmers' income. Bioenergy projects are transforming agriculture and boosting farmers' income. Through the implementation of projects, developers partner with farmers' producers' organizations, FBOs, and individual farmers to procure feedstock. This feedstock, primarily crop residues, is crucial for producing compressed biogas. By selling their crop residues for CBG production, farmers has increased their income till their 24,000 year. Instead of burning these residues, which can cause pollution, they are put to productive use in bioenergy projects. Through this farmers gain a new revenue stream, and the environment is preserved from the harmful effects of stubble burning. Be a part of the change. Fuel the green energy movement with bioenergy.